Welcome to Positive Atheism English Channel. Today, in our program, The Atheist Center, Unbound by Cases, written by Jim Herrick. I am going to read out you the chapter on ethics. Gora thought deeply about ethics and rightful behavior and just societies. His belief in a moral imperative led him to many actions to improve society and human relations which impelled him to action through the ethics center and as an individual. Ethics in Gora's view is the road to happiness, the fulfillment of desires. This is not sufficient as an ethical approach. It might lead to theft or dishonesty in human relations. It might lead to monetism, which although it could result in individual satisfaction, is no good for groups of individuals and society as a whole. We need social, not otherworldly impulses in our relation to each other. There is also the need for honesty and tolerance, which can stem from empathy and compassion for other people. Disease can change and our wishes be modified. These changes take place as society changes. Modern complex societies have come from primitive societies where the use of tools creates difference between different groups. In due course, this leads to changes in medicine, engineering and food production. These changes bring changes in ethical behavior. Ethics is essential in the behavior between individuals and between groups within societies and in modifying the changes between societies. Social relations are at the heart of morality. In social relations, we are dealing with people who have similar emotions, sentiments, love, hates and ambitions. This necessitates honesty and tolerance. We cannot act reasonably between each other without honesty. Honesty is the cement which brings humans to each other in social relations. With change of use, this can be honestly explained to others. Secrecy and lies poison ethical thought. Honesty is necessary in the sectarian relations between different parts of society, caste, race, nation, tribes or groups which must be treated with honesty and tolerance. Humans are a mixture of social and selfish impulses. Social attitudes must be encouraged and selfish ones disgraced. Gora considers this can be done by self-discipline, religious faith and political power. Surely, religion and politics are poor sources of moral behavior. Those whose behavior is quite immoral may prosecute their immoral acts with self-discipline. Self-discipline, however, can lead to honesty in dealing with others. It is in the relations within the social group that moral choices and commitments are affected. If humans were not social creatures, the whole discussion of ethics would be quite different. Gora points out that the best method to ensure moral behavior is the appreciation of moral obligations by every individual. Even in relatively small issues such as promptness, the latecomer can cause inconvenience to others. It is notable that meetings of the Ethics Center are always started on time. Honesty is found in primitive groups and transgressions can be punished. The question of punishments for ethical failures is a large one. Gora does not deal with the religious concept of guilt and forgiveness, which can be agents of personal change. Self-forgiveness is important in atheist counseling. The difficulty with religious faith as a source of morality is that it inclines towards other worldly salvation. However, religion can lead to moral excellence in the name of God and salvation. But a believer could ignore social obligations on the grounds of expected salvation. Another deficiency of religion is a source of morality is that some will turn away from society to a monastery, where society as a whole is ignored. Prayer and meditation focus on a supposed deity rather than leading to social responsibility. Atheists do not use a list of do's and don'ts to guide their behavior. These are often based on religious injunctions in the scriptures, the Bible, the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, for instance. 
these strict instructions become outdated as society changes and they cannot be applied equally to all situations where moral behaviors must be established through consideration of the particular moment. Christians can call for peace and practice war. Muslims can proclaim their brotherhood and work to destroy other faiths. Likewise, secular ideologies can proclaim peace and go to war. They can offer hope to all citizens and destroy the lives of citizens. This can be so for Marxist and Moist societies. It is notable that the secular social work of the Atheist Center focuses on the necessities of the moment and the visible needs of society rather than morality underpinned by ideology. Gandhi demanded truthfulness and tolerance, effectively honesty and non-violence. Non-violence or Satyagraha was one of the chief characteristics of Gandhism and among all the influences on the Ethi center, the strongest was that of Gandhi. But Gandhi's equation of truth with God was some distance from the Ethi center. Nevertheless, given the religious strife in India, Gandhi recommended a secular state which would leave religion as a personal matter. The freedom of atheism leads to the moral person. Freedom of choice in society leads to moral social relations. Some behavior, of course, is not acceptable, such as selfishness and secrecy. Gora does not spell out how much undesirable behavior is prevented other than by the atheist commitment to truth and honesty. Separation of caste, class and creed also tend towards encouraging selfishness. A society which reinforces equality will lead to the reduction of selfishness since the desire for greater wealth from others does not exist. This is very fine and very idealistic. Atheism encourages one person to meet another as an equal. Theism leads to the slave mentality which allows for injustices which create an immoral society. Atheists banish faith in destiny or fate. This leads to the freedom which encourages moral behavior. Openness also results in an ethical community. The community which Gora set up in the Ethics Center is faithful to his view of ethics and this is partly the cause of its success. And here ends the chapter on ethics and in the next episode we shall learn about Gora's politics. Thank you. For more videos, please subscribe to our Positive Atheism English Channel Presented by Samaran Channels Which crossed 20 crore views Please like, subscribe and share our videos And for notification of our new videos Please click the bell icon